This project has already confirmed its airdrop and you can take part in it if you have some spare Ethereum in your wallet. There are a few ways that you can qualify for this airdrop and with its recent expansion to other layer 2 networks, it may be possible for you to participate in it with lower fees. So let's dive right in and see how you can qualify for it. This project is known as the Swell Protocol and if you have heard of Lido Finance or Rocket Pool, this also performs a similar function where you can stake your ETH and get the SWEF liquid staking token where you earn about 3.82% in staking you. Right now, Swell Protocol is running its Voyage campaign and you earn some pulls where you complete certain transactions. We are now currently in Chapter 2 of the Voyage and the first chapter involves earning pearls by just staking and holding SWEF or providing liquidity to any of these different protocols. Right now with the second chapter, the main way that you can earn these pearls is by depositing your Ethereum into the Swell protocol. And if you use my referral link, which I have in the description below, both you and I will be able to earn 10 pearls if you stake at least one Ethereum on the platform. However, it's fine if you don't have that much funds, where you still will be able to earn your pearls by just holding this SWEF by itself. And the amount of pearls that you earn depends on the amount of SWEF that you hold, as well as the duration that you hold it for. The only way for you to earn these pearls is by having the SWEF on the Ethereum mainnet. So that would mean that you need to perform transactions where the gas fees are quite high. When I performed my staking transaction about two months back, I had to pay about $2.60 worth of Ethereum as gas fees when the grey was around 14 And I've only staked around $45 worth of Ethereum for this amount of time. And so far, I've only earned about 7 pearls which I'm not too sure whether it's good or bad, but if you do want to earn more pearls, then you do need to stake even more SWEF and hold it for a longer period of time. So some other ways that you can earn these pearls is by depositing liquidity, which usually involves the SWEF EF pool. And their Twitter account did mention that you're able to get twice the amount of pearls if you deposit liquidity into this pool on Pendle Finance. So I was pretty excited about it because I had some ETH to spare on the Ethereum mainnet. But when I wanted to perform the transaction, the gas fees actually cost about $12.40. And that's when the GUI is roughly about 16, which is already considered pretty low. So I decided not to perform this transaction because I personally feel that the gas fees are too high. But if you do have a large amount of ETH that you're willing to stake, then this could be another way that you can earn some pearls. Before we carry on with the video, I have a solution that could help you keep track of all of your different airdrop activities. So every Sunday, I'll be sending out a weekly newsletter on my Substack, which goes through all of the different airdrop activities that I've performed for that week. And all of them will be categorized based on the different networks that these activities are on. Some of these tasks have already helped me to earn airdrops, just like the Connex airdrop, which I mentioned in my previous issue that I sent out all the way back in June. By signing up to my newsletter, you'll also be able to gain access to my Notion airdrop tracker, where it shows you all of the different airdrops that I'm currently hunting for. And within this section, you'll be able to see some of the guides that I've already created for that specific airdrop. To receive all of these benefits, do subscribe to my newsletter, which I'll leave a link in the description below. It's also possible for you to deposit your funds into the SWEF and Red Ethereum pool. But again, this requires you to perform a lot of different transactions on the Ethereum mainnet. So the gas fees will be pretty expensive as well. So this is another task that I decided not to do. However, I saw this announcement where you can get double pulls by depositing your funds into this pool. And this platform just requires you to deposit Red Ethereum and then you'll be able to earn two times pulls depending on the amount that you deposit. So right now the website isn't really loading for me. But previously I deposited roughly about $50 worth of Red Ethereum into this pool and the transaction fee is about $2. I would say it's not too bad as compared to depositing your funds on Pendle where the fees were almost $12. However, this double post incentive will only last until the 24th of September. So this is also something that you may want to consider before you deposit your funds there. So our protocol has also recently announced that the SWEF is now cross-chain and it's currently available on the Arbitrum network. It's now possible for you to transfer your SWE from the Ethereum network over to Arbitrum, but the bridging fee will cost you about $2 in USD. And you also need to pay the gas fees, which could be a few dollars as well. So you may want to reconsider before you perform this bridging transaction. Currently, you're able to add your SWEF as liquidity into some of these pools on Arbitrum. And this includes the KyberSwap pool, where you can add both of these tokens and you get about 5% in fees. Swell mentioned that if you added liquidity into these Arbitrum pools, you'll actually not be eligible for the post itself, but you may receive some incentives by 
these three different platforms. They did mention that they're looking to expand SWE into more layer 2 networks, including Optimism, ZK Sync, Base, and Mental. Hopefully, we will then be able to earn some pearls if we perform transactions using SWE on all of these different networks. And once SWE is available on the Mental network, you may want to perform some transactions with that token. Mental is currently running their Mental Journey campaign, where you can earn a cut of a 2 million MNT token pool. If you'd like to find out a bit more about that campaign, then you can check out my video in the description below. I would say that this airdrop will be quite lucrative given that there are currently only about 19,000 participants. So this could mean that you receive a greater share of the Swell token as compared to other airdrops where a lot more wallets have participated in them. And I don't think that this is mainly because this project is on the Ethereum network where the gas fees are much more expensive and this deters most people from participating in it. So due to this higher barrier of entry, there could be a chance for you to get a greater allocation of the tokens if you're willing to pay those higher gas fees. Do let me know in the comments how much Ethereum you intend to spend on this airdrop. And if you're looking for other cheaper airdrops to participate in, my video here will guide you through one such campaign.